the head gate. Praise the Lord. Now, the head, Hitwa, is the symbol of your destiny. Where you go, praise the Lord. Where you are going, it depends on your head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why somebody's heart can be cut. And you will continue living. Somebody's legs. We are to will be cut. Takatwa. But you continue living. But cut somebody's head. He will die. Rakufa. Because the head is the symbol of your destiny. Now, the Bible gives a lot of caution about the head. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 22. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 22. What told Timothy? What told Timothy? How about a man yet to tell? Lay hands suddenly on no man. So that he will not be a partaker of his iniquity. Praise the Lord. So Paul was telling Timothy. If you lay hands on somebody uh, uh, so fast, without establishing what kind of a person this is, when you put your hand on him, his iniquities, his issues, will come by at the gate and you become a partaker. Praise the Lord. So there are things that can enter and there are things that can come out. In Psalms 23, Verse 5. Psalms 23, verse 5. The Bible says. Psalms 23, verse 5. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup landed over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the heads is a means of which anointing is imparted into the body. Praise the Lord. So the head is an access route for anointing. Those who are anointed, they are laid hands on. And it is usually done on the head. Because through the head, there is an access of the anointing to the rest of the body. Praise the Lord. And so, by laying out of uh, all of hands, there are two things that can happen. Praise the Lord. The good spirit that is in the person who is laying hand on you will come into you. Or the evil spirit in the man who is raising hands on you will come into you. Praise the Lord. And that is why it is very important. Be careful who lays his hands on you. Be very careful. Who lays his hands on your children as you walk around the road? Praise the Lord. Because by laying out of hands, if I am evil, I will transport, I will transmit the evil in me in you. If an evil pastor lays his hand on you, praise the Lord. That evil, that, that immorality in him will come into you. Praise the Lord. And that is why it is important. Be careful who lays his heart on you. Because your head is the gate. Praise the Lord. Be careful what you put on your head. Those young men who put caps on their head. Always find out what is this cap all about. There are some you will find along the way. They have a cap. With a skeleton on the face. Now the fikiria the fashion. No, we are the fashion. That is a cap that has been that has been offered somewhere and it has been released. Praise the Lord. And when somebody is you not know that they are manipulating you through your head. Now I fear for the ladies. And especially those who are blessed enough to wear human hair. Praise the Lord. 
you know there's a difference between uh, the synthetic one and the human hair unajua kuna tofauti ya ile ya tengenezwa na karatasi na human hair the human hair literally is cut from women's hair na human hair inakatwa kutoka kwa vitu vya mama wengine praise the lord bwana asifiwe now in those 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 places where they have long hairs hizo nchi ambazo ambapo wana nywele ndefu ah india and china India na Uchina. There's a time they have to over sacrifice to their god. Na wakati wanatoa sadaka kwa mimbu yao. And those women who are not able to give money. Na wale wa mama hawazi kwa pesa. Because hair there is very precious. Kwa maana nywele pale ni zamani. They cut the hair. Wanakata nywele. And they go and throw it to the river. Wanaenda na kichwa kwa mtu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. They offering to their gods. Wanatoa sadaka kwa mimbu yao. And other craft the people go down the river. Na watu wengine ambao ni wanwelewa wanaenda chini ya mtu. And wait for the hair. They get it. When I sign, they come and sell. When I'm done, I have never thought who was the owner of that hair. Zero shall be clear. Nani alikuwa na miti yote mimi? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Because what was in that person? Ana kitu kwa nani yote. Who the hell gave? Pia kwa nani kwa kitu can connect to you. Na yeye ndiye nani ya. Then you remember the hell gate. Via jirani yako. Nango na kitu. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So thanks back wakati mepita a girl was brought here sana kalitwa kwangu hapa this girl wewe msana was calling alikuwa anaanguka 10 times in a day mara kumi kwa siku anazirai ah his heart would be very stiff kona yake inakuwa mbivu her heart would be very stiff kona yake inakuwa mitaa and she would be there for some day na anakuwa pale kwa kitaa so somebody must be there the whole day for her kwa hiyo mtu lazima aye pale kumwangalia mtana kutwa so she was brought from Nairobi akaenda kutoka Nairobi she was brought i prayed for her akaenda nitamwombea and uh, she was not eating she was very uh, thin hapo anakula alikuwa mwema sana so i prayed for her i told her the people are here to give her something to eat nilipo mwangalia nikaambia watu waliokuwa hapa hapa kitakula she ate akala and they went na wakaenda they called me later and they told me that the girl is for one day once in a day wakanilipitia siku wakaniambia usiana sana na mtu mara moja kwa siku i told them nikawaambia because they told me that the girl was staying with the grandmother kaniambia kwa sababu usiana alikuwa anakaa na nyanya yake i told them i want to see the grandmother kaniambia ataka kuona nyanya because there are some questions she must answer maana kuna maswali lazima ajibu i was taken to idaga pele kwa idaga a place where we had to leave the vehicle and continue walking in the police hali kwa tujiacha gari hapo ni kemera ni nguvu when i went there nipo ile pale and we were talking na chukua tunaongea the girls okay the grandmother was born again nyanya alikuwa ameokoka but the girl told me he didn't say that they are step mother kwa mama yao akama had the ticket her to reach alikuwa amepeleka kwa mtaa and she did her hair like this na akafanya nywele yake so she was cut akakatwa and some black substance was put on the skin of the head na kitu cheusi kaeka kaeka kwa ngozi ya kichwa and because she has hair you can't know kwa maana na nyewe huwezi jua that was the point of connection hapo ndipo alikuwa anashikana i prayed for her nikamwombea from that day toka hiyo siku that thing stopped hilo tamu because i closed the gate of the devil in her head kwa maana nifuga lango la shetani katika kichwa chake praise the lord bwana asifiwe just put your hand on your head hela kuna kwa kichwa chako Say my father my father. Yeah, my father my father. I close the gate of my head. I close the gate of my head. And out of my life and out of my life I destroy I destroy every effect every effect every influence every influence out of my life out of my life from the devil from the devil. Na siku ya leo na siku ya leo kichwa changu kichwa changu mawazo yangu mawazo yangu nimeitakaza nimeitakaza kwa damu ya Yesu kwa damu ya Yesu katika jina la Yesu nimeomba katika jina la Yesu nimeomba amen amen tupige Yesu makofi leo Yesu makofi haleluya so when the gate of your head is interfered with kwa hiyo wakati lango la rafiki chako limeguswa there are some invitations kuna ishara and one of them is constant loss of memory na jambo la kwanza ni kwamba unapoteza fahamu mara kwa mara forgetting things that you should not forget sahau mama kwa upasi kusahau you find your mind is attracted to sin unafanya mawazo yako yanavutiwa na dhambi every time your mind is attracted to sin kila wakati mawazo yako yanavutiwa na dhambi and so most of the times you are struggling not to sin na kwa hiyo kila wakati unangangana usitende dhambi sometimes you become sick wakati mwingine anakuwa mgonjwa headaches that have no reason uh, unaugua kichwa ambacho ambacho hakina sababu there are those people who are followed by bad luck kuna watu wanafuata na bahati mbaya because 
This destroys your destiny. Praise the Lord. So remember the head is a symbol of your destiny. And you need to protect it. Now I touch Praise the Lord. Be careful what you pour on your head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 How could I do You know what you are doing? Have you ever wondered why? That culture dictates that you take your child to a grandmother in the village to shave the child after the child is born. Praise the Lord. During the shaving, there are things they speak to the children. Praise the Lord. And from that day, as they, they, they shave the old hands, they are, they, are, they are things that have been introduced into that culture. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's one of you, Atakama, we are going to go to Lakini <laughs> And there are things that have been happening even through culture to affect us. So, don't be careless in your hair. It is part of your head. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember the head is the storehouse of your brains. The person who manipulates your head manipulates your brains. Praise the Lord. But I thank God. We have prayed. And we shall continue to believe God. And when you go to pray, always lay your hand on your head. You know, I have Praise the Lord. I have I have seen people who are far. What you are about? Praise the Lord. Like the other day, I'm a to preacher. A pastor in Nairobi. To be in Nairobi. They are building a church bigger than the one that you want to build. When I think I can't start to complete the amount of work I'm doing, he was sick. Come on, Joe. For a, for a week or so, he did not start, even stand up. He called me. I can be He told me, man of God, I need you to pray for me. Thank you, Maybe not that I will go. I told him, Come we are going to pray. Come on, Raise your hand on your head. Come on, When he raised his hand on his head, he told me, I declared his hand is the hand of Christ. He told me, I declared his hand is the hand of Christ. And I have put everything the devil had released in his life. I declared redemption in his life. In the name of Jesus. I didn't know that he was not studying. I told him, stand up now. I asked him, what is it that you could not do? He told me I could not stand and I'm standing. Praise the Lord. The gate 
of the head. Mlango wa kichwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu makofu mazuri. Yesu makofu mengi. So when you pray, hey, when you pray for your children, napomea kichwa wako, lay your hands on them. Waikeleni kwao. And tell them. Na waambie, it is not everybody they give their heads to to lay their hands on them. Sikia mtu anapatia kichwa chao awaikeleni kwao. 